Post Romus Vitus Tava Novena Diva Maria Sena Rodela Si non pretruse la viaslag, polože la ospodno seda. Si non pretruse la viaslag, polože la ospodno seda. Spread the good news to all the nations of the world. In a poor stable is born Christ the Word. Scatter the hazel gently, lay the infant Jesus in his humble manger. Scatter the hazel gently, lay the infant Jesus in his humble manger. Christos Rizdaitia, Slavitioho. Christ is born, let us glorify him. So, I'm Father Basil Mulovany again, and this is uh, my podcast. Hope everyone's doing well out there during their third year of the COVID pandemic. And here where I live in Saskatchewan, it's very, very uh, snowy. I guess we're going to get a major storm again tonight. So, everyone who's listening, please be safe on the roads. So, I was um, doing a project in my parish where every day of the week, I put a little blurb about the saint of the day. So, as we know as Catholics, every, um, every day we have a saint that we venerate and most days we have many saints we venerate, but there's most usually a main saint that we commemorate during the Divine Liturgy and uh, we pray for uh, their protection over us. And a few days from now, on January 20th, we uh, commemorate the Venerable Euthymius the Great. And uh, I'm not going to really talk much about his life today, um, you can look it up of yourself online or, or go to our Sacred Heart website if you want to learn more about him. Uh, but there is a part just when he was dying that he um, said these very, um, very holy words to his, to his followers who were gathered around when he was dying. Saint Titimius. Um, so this is what the words that he said. Look to yourselves and preserve your souls and bodies in purity. Do not fail to attend the church services and keep the traditions and rules of our community. If one of the brethren struggles with unclean thoughts, correct, console, and instruct him so that he does not fall into the devil's snares. Never refuse hospitality to visitors. Offer a bed to every stranger. Give whatever you can to help the poor in their misfortune. Wow. I think those are this, this great words to base our life on. So I want to go through these words of St. Euthymius when when he was on his deathbed and uh, instructing his followers of how to live their lives in holiness. So the first thing he said was, look to yourselves and preserve your souls and bodies in purity. So what he's talking about, of course, is how we have to keep our souls sinless. And he, he goes on later, it says, if one of the brethren struggles with unclean thoughts, correct, console, and instruct them so he does not fall into the devil's snares. You know, it's easy for us in the world to judge one another, to um, say, well, look at that person. That person is 
is a sinner. They're doing great uh, wrongs and, and causing scandal and, and uh, you know, not following the church teachings and uh, not living a life of holiness and doing all these bad things that are, you know, hurting themselves and their their loved ones, you know. But what St. Euthymius is saying is that, yeah, we can go to that person, we can say, okay, you know, maybe what you're doing is not right, but we don't have to judge that person. We don't have to, you know, make that person embarrassed in front of others in in uh, in in um, how we uh, correct them. So I think that's very important part of our um, part of our ministry as Christians to help one another live sinless lives, but at the same time have that uh forgiving heart and and have that um you know that heart of saying to them um quietly just you know um maybe you should turn be turning your life back to god and asking for forgiveness for what um you know you're doing other people might be judging you and we we uh, god loves you very much and god uh, wants you to wants the best for you and he wants you to live a life of holiness a life of of um, complete uh, sacrifice to him and sometimes when we do these unholy things uh, we are hurting ourselves of course our souls we're hurting our own souls but we're also hurting those around us through our actions and, uh, you know, that often comes from selfishness, often comes from, you know, we want immediate gratitude, we want immediate satisfaction in our lives, that physical satisfaction, that, you know, um, satisfaction for our bodies. And uh, sometimes we have to think beyond that. We have to go beyond that uh, immediate satisfaction that we want and ask God for his help to make the right decisions so that we are not sinning, we are not um, putting our souls in jeopardy. But there is definitely a way to help people correct themselves and not judging them and saying, oh, you're, you're not going to go to heaven if you're doing this. You know, we we have to be very careful with our words to one another and, and how to help one another grow in holiness. So uh, this is very interesting what St. Euthymius says. You know, correct, console, and instruct him. So education is also a very big part of our Christian ministry. You know, we all fall short in the in the eyes of the Lord. You know, we uh, we are all sinners, unfortunately, but it's good for us to teach one another the correct way of living out our faith, the correct way of living out uh, the holiness that we have, you know, that God wants from us, uh, that he made and created us to be. So I think that's one one a special aspect of of um, helping one another grow in in the the faith is to educate one another. You know, if we see someone who is having a hard time in their life, who maybe is going on the wayward path, um, you know, we we, we can't uh, judge them that they're going to go to hell, but at the same time. We can gently, with kind words, with uh, with a kind heart, just you know, tell them, correct them, pray for them. Um, you know, uh, say you know how what is your relationship with God right now? How how is your 
Um, how is your prayer life? How is your uh, relationship with uh, with uh, the people you serve, the your family? All those things, this gently, gently collect, correct them in their um, spiritual life. And then St. Euthymius goes on to say, Never refuse hospitality to others, to visitors. Offer a bed to every stranger. Give whatever you can to help their poor and their misfortune. So now St. Euthymius is going beyond you know, talking about sinfulness uh, and, 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 I mean, sins and, and how we are doing a wrong against God. He's saying what we ought to do that we don't do. Um, you know, there, there's, there's often, we, we forget that there's two types of sins. You know, the sins of commission and the sins of omission. So the sins of commission is what we do, our actual actions that we do to offend God, to um, you know, uh, hurt one another in this world. But then there's also the sins of omission, what we don't do that we should be doing to help one another in this world. And I think this is a good reminder from St. Euthymius as well. You know, hospitality. We, unfortunately, we live in this world today where we are almost scared to, to be hospitable to other people because we are so worried about protecting our own goods, protecting our own, um, you no know, mental health or our physical health or our emotional health. We don't, it's hard for us to uh, allow strangers into our lives. Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about here. We are so, um, we, we have these walls around us almost, and especially during this COVID time where we distrust everyone. And we are very uncertain about people's motives we are very uncertain about you know pe uh, people's actions why are they doing what they're doing what do they want from us you know so when someone comes up to us we immediately we get our guard up and we we are okay well, what uh, you know how can i get away from this situation i you know how can i make sure that this person doesn't bother me anymore but St. Euthymius is talking the different, uh, the, the exact opposite. He's saying, do not refuse hospitality to those who need it. Uh, do, do uh, offer, you know, food and, and drink and a bed if they need it for people who are poor and, and to give whatever we can to them. Boy, is that so different than our mentality today in this world, right? You know, how many of us uh, get annoyed when we're in the city and there's, uh, you know, a street peddler or someone asking for change or someone asking for this and that? We get annoyed right away. We're like, well, don't bother me anymore. I don't I don't want to help you. I, I want to do my own thing. I want to go my own way. Most of us, I think, have that attitude that we don't want to be bothered by strangers and, you know, uh, St. Euphemius is saying, well, maybe we have to be more humble. We have to be more um, God-giving, you know, uh, giving the life of Jesus to everyone, even to strangers, maybe especially to strangers. You know, we, um, of course, we still have to be a little bit cautious and, and not, um, not uh, uh, you know, be... Uh, fooled by, by the people who might want to harm us. You know, we still have to have a little bit of our guard up. But at the same time, we have to be generous. We have to be merciful to others. We have to be very, very, uh, uh try to be understanding of people's situations in this life. Because not everyone is going to, you know, um, 
want to hurt us. Not everyone in this world wants to, um, you know, cause harm against us. Um, most people are, you know, very, um, very friendly, you know, and we have to, we, we have to pray for wisdom to know the difference of, of when a person is trying to harm us or trying to swindle us and when a person is just asking from, for help because they're in desperate need, you know. So I think those are really good points to remember in our life um, about, first of all, about sin, you know, how we uh, help one another um, correct our sinful ways, how we, um, you know, help each other in our spiritual life. And then on the other hand, how we have to be merciful and and uh, generous to others as well. So uh, I felt that this uh, reading from uh, Saint Euthymius was very, very powerful to me today. And I hope uh, that um, it was um, that, that it, it was thought provoking for you as well, so that you would uh, think about how we can better ourselves in our lives how we can you know, help one another grow in holiness and be forgiving and merciful at the same time. So God bless you. Have a good week ahead and I'll talk to you soon.